One of the biggest problems that most people face when they start using a digital task manager is pretty quickly it fills up with stuff. Stuff that you're not sure what to do with, so you keep rescheduling it, keep moving it, keep pushing it around, and all these things build up until you have this just incredibly long, overwhelming list of stuff, and then you stop using your Todoist. But it doesn't have to be that way. I think there's a song. Anyway, <laughs> I get di I digress. It doesn't have to be that way because Todoist have given us a number of tools that will help us to filter down our lists so that it's much more focused. And as I've been working with this concept of must do, should do, and could do, I realized that Todoist flags, the, A, the P1, P2, P3, and P4, can really help us to get a focused view of the day so that we know what's important, we know what we should be doing, and we know that what we could do at the end of the day. And today I want to show you how to set this up because it really does work to get you focused. But it all works on the premise that you are doing a daily planning session. Now, if you're not doing a daily planning session, you may as well just stop watching this video right now. This video is not for you, simply because nothing is going to work unless you are willing to spend five or 10 minutes, either first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening, planning out your day. Now, what do I mean by planning out your day? This is not like a full weekly review where you review all your projects and review everything else. No, 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 no. A daily planning session is simply looking at your calendar for the committed events for tomorrow, removing any conflicts, that's where you have two appointments at the same time. You are a human being, remember, you cannot be in two places at once, so removing whatever is conflicted and making sure that your day looks doable more than anything else. And then based on how many hours you're spending in meetings and whatever else you're gonna be doing tomorrow, looking at your Todoist to see if the tasks that you have lined up for tomorrow are realistic based on what you are already committed to doing. That's it. It takes about five minutes if you're consistent at it. If you're not consistent, it might take 10 to 15 minutes, but the daily planning session is critical if you want to start removing all this overwhelm, backlogs, and all the other stuff that people tend to struggle with today. So now we've got that little caveat out of the way, let me show you how to set this very focused view up in Todoist. So first up, what we need to do is to turn our today view into a board. Now, that's all we need to do to start off with. We need to turn it into a board. Now, if you go down and you can actually group things by priority. So this is gonna give you priority one, priority two, priority three, and priority four. Now the way to look at this is your P1s, your must do's, you want to be limiting those to round about two per day. Now just to give you a little bit of insight here, my general rule is no more than two, but I know that the world is very inconsistent, so sometimes I may have three. But when I, have, when I do have three, it is, it is realistic in the sense that perhaps one is just sending an email out to somebody that might take me five minutes. Mainly my P1s, my priority ones, my must do's are always going to be big juicy tasks that are going to move something significantly forward. The next one to look at is our the, the P2s. These are what you would describe as your should do's. So these are still quite important and you are going to do the best you can to get to them, but they're not the must do's. These are the things that you will get to if you have time. And then the P3s, which are your could do. So this could be revolving around the context base as in getting things done. So what we're looking at here is we're perhaps going to have uh, we're going to have perhaps things that we have to pick up from the pharmacy or we may need a specific tool like I may need to be sat at my computer to do something or I maybe need to be with somebody in order to do it and that's your P3s. Now your P4s are the ones that are well if I do get time I'll get to them. I also like to think of my P4s as those little admin tasks that really doesn't matter if I don't do them today. It may be that I need to do them tomorrow or else backlogs will build up in which case I will change a flag. 
Now, what you're going to notice right now as you look at this is you cannot drag and drop within the Today View. Today View in Todoist is really a filter that's a, a kind of a default filter. Anything with today's date is going to come on this list. But what you can do is click the three dots at the side of the task and just change the flag from a red flag, an orange flag, or a blue flag. You can just tap the flag and it will automatically then move to the right column. So actually, when I was testing this, I realized this is actually faster than dragging and dropping. When you're dragging it, you're trying to find the right place to get hold of it and to move it across. This is just tap the three buttons, do the red flag or the blue flag. Now, the other thing is you can also change the date if you look at it and say, mm, okay, this isn't necessarily going to be, I'm going to do this one tomorrow. And you can just, while you're in there, just tap the icon for tomorrow and the task will disappear until tomorrow. Now, all you need to do is have your calendar open at the same time and look at your task list. And that way you're going to get a much more realistic, focused view on what you can do. Most people's problems with time management or productivity isn't the fact that they have extremely difficult things to do, it's they have too many things on their to-do list. If you really want to remove all that feeling of weight of the overwhelm of stuff to do, what we're looking at doing is getting a really focused view in here. Now, of course, there's going to be lots of stuff that you're collecting through the day that you may also have to deal with. You might get an email in the morning which says, I really need you to send me this the sales figures for last month today. OK, you're going to have to add that in somewhere and you may have to shift things around. You may need to add the task and then flag it red and move another one out. Yeah, there's a little bit of stuff going on during the day, but we're only talking a few minutes to organize this stuff. It's not like we have to spend spend all day doing it. But the key here is that you have a focused view. And for some reason, when you remove the menu, the sidebar, you have a very, very focused view on your task for the day. It's an incredible view and it really does help you to get focused on the day. One of the powerful things I've already discovered with my Franklin Planner experiment at the moment is because you're stuck on that one day, that day's page, you have your task list at the left, you have your calendar of events and then your notes, you are really focused on the day. You're not allowing yourself to get distracted by stuff that doesn't need to be done today. We can recreate that in Todoist with the Today board. It's wonderful. Now, if you don't want to use P1, P2, P3, and you actually want to create the must do, could do, should do, well, you can create a separate project for that, and you can create sections, and then you can drag and drop into that thing. I think that's just an additional step that you don't need to do, just treating P1 as your must do's, P2 as your should do's, and P3's as your could do's. P4's are like your, kind of like the, the, the box that you just pull stuff in if you have time. It's nice to get some of those done each day because then you're not having another backlog building up. So I hope this video has given you some ideas about how you can create a very focused view in Todoist that gets you focused on the work that actually needs to be done today and prevents you from being distracted by the hundreds if not thousands of other tasks in your system. Thanks very much for watching this video. And if you want to know how I have my to-do is set up right now, then this video up here is the one to watch next.